Hey everybody, this is George from DinosaurGeorge.com. I am so sorry that it's taken me so long to get back into the studio to answer all of your questions. My schedule has been a little bit crazy. Over the last two months, we've received over 4,800 questions. And uh, gosh, I'm so sorry I can't answer them all. I wish I could. Um, so i tell you what I'll do. I'll try to go ahead and answer all 4,800 right now. Ready? Here we go. Yes. No. Allosaurus. No. Yes. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Spinosaurus, no, yes, perhaps. How many is that? Um, anyway, sorry I can't answer them all, you guys. Okay, here we go. Yale from Waterford, Michigan says, Happy Earth Day, DG. Well, Yale, happy Earth Day to you. It's one day past Earth Day when I got this message, but happy Earth Day to you and to everybody else who celebrates that. My question is, is it possible that dinosaurs are still alive? Well, you know, if you ask uh, Dr. Tom Holtz if dinosaurs are still alive, you'll see a smile from ear to ear for that man. He is tickled to death to be able to tell you, yes, they are. He and most paleontologists that I know uh, all feel so confident that birds and predatory dinosaurs are so similar that they believe birds should be classified as living dinosaurs. And I agree, um, there are so many similarities. So the answer to your question, Yale, is yes, I believe it's possible that dinosaurs are still alive. Go out in your backyard and check out and see if you have one flying by. Now, if you're talking about the dinosaurs that we think of when we say dinosaurs, um, I don't know. Um, to me, it would seem difficult that an animal would be able to survive for this long without having large numbers to be able to reproduce with. Over time, you just wouldn't have enough to reproduce and pass on uh, the family uh, into next generations. And that would mean that at some point in time, we should have seen uh, dozens, maybe hundreds of the dinosaurs as you're thinking dinosaurs. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's plausible, but it's certainly possible. Okay, Hannah from Cleveland, Ohio. What is your favorite dinosaur and what is Utah Raptor's species name? Well, Hannah, my favorite dinosaur is uh, Allosaurus. I've loved Allosaurus ever since I was a kid. The species name is Ostromosaurum, but I've also seen it listed as uh, Ostromaceae. But I think it's Ostromosaurum. Um, I think it was named after uh, John Ostrom and then also a gentleman, last name Mays. I think he's used to be with the Dynamation Company, and, and I apologize for not being being able to remember his first name, but uh, that's what I believe it is. Okay, Luke from Wellington, Florida says, why is it thought that humans lived after dinosaurs when well, we found Indian artifacts with dinosaur paintings? I am a creationist, but I would like to hear the other part of the argument. Luke, first of all, um, I respect everybody's points of view, and I appreciate the fact that your point of view may be different, but you're interested in hearing other people's uh, ideas. That's really the essence of science is not to shut your mind to other people's points of view. You don't have to embrace them all, but it is very important that we hear other people's points of view, and more importantly, that we're respectful of other people's points of view. I try my very best to be respectful of everybody's points of view. Um, okay, in answer to, to your question, Luke, first of all, I can only speak for myself in that I've never seen any evidence that proves to me that man and dinosaurs lived at the same time. I've looked at uh, formations pretty much all over North America and not once have I ever seen anything. And let me tell you this, Luke. Uh, I was raised in a Christian family and so I believe that I come at this subject with a very open mind. Um, uh, I, if I saw something that I thought would, would suggest that man and dinosaurs lived together, I would be the first to stand up and say I have. Uh, because again, I try to look at things from an open mind. I don't close my mind and, and snicker and laugh at other people's points of view. I just think that's very rude and I think that's, that's pretty um, uh, almost childish. Uh, but I have never seen anything, uh, both visually or that I've ever read that would suggest to me that man and dinosaurs live together. I have seen images of some of the paintings you talk about and even some Egyptian stuff that's kind of hard to explain. I just don't know the answer to it. Uh, he also says, uh, isn't it true that we found human footprints alongside of dinosaur footprints? I'm not saying you're wrong about the whole Jurassic, Triassic, Cretaceous theory. I just want to know why you believe this. That's all. Luke, again, I appreciate your respectful way of writing this. Uh, again, I can only speak for myself. And that is that um, uh, the different time periods are sort of separated by different layers. And I've never seen anything in any one of those layers that would suggest to me that man and dinosaurs lived together. I have seen footprints uh, that are kind of hard to explain. Uh, I've seen some that, did you see that flash of light? 
That was weird. Must be a storm coming to Texas. Um, see that again? Ooh, that's creepy. Ooh, maybe that's a message. <laughs> I'm teasing. Um, uh, I've seen footprints. Now, I have seen dinosaur footprints that have either been uh, eroded or um, when they were laid down, the mud was relatively thick and didn't leave a good impression. And that's what I think could account for some of those tracks that appear to be something other than dinosaur and perhaps human. But again, uh, Luke, I, I appreciate it. I hope you respect my answer. Uh, and if I ever do find something that uh, I think is, um, is clear evidence, I would certainly communicate that. Okay, Henrique from Lisbon, Portugal. He says, hey, Dinosaur George, it's your number one fan from Portugal. So you're that guy. <laughs> Henrique, I enjoy hearing from you. I, I always enjoy hearing your questions. Uh, he says, hope everything is great with work and family, etc. Henrique, it is, and I hope it is just as good for you. And you know, Henrique, you guys in uh, Portugal may not pronounce the H. It may be Henrique, and if it is, I apologize for pronouncing the H in your name. Um, I would suspect it's probably Henrique, but it's spelled with an H. So anyway, uh, he said, I know you're pretty busy lately, so I'm going to be brief. What are your thoughts on Gregory S. Paul's dinosaurs mass estimates? Uh, especially on Mementosaurus, which he lists as 75,000 tons heavier than Argentinosaurus and other huge titanosaurs. Thank you for your time in reading this and con uh, continuation of great work. Uh, Enrique, um, I am a big fan of Gregory Paul. I really like the guy's writings. He wrote a great book about predators and he does some remarkable artwork. I really like him. I have not seen this myself, so it's hard for me to comment on it. If, in fact, he suggests that a Mementosaurus weighs 75,000 tons, I would, I would be opposed to that concept. I, don't, I wouldn't agree with that. Um, looking at the few skeletal remains that I've had a chance to see, but especially reading the things that I have about Mementosaurus, to me, he appears to be a much more slender dinosaur, more Diplodocus-like, and not that stout, heavily built titanosaur body design. I would find it hard to believe that he could weigh that much, but I certainly do respect uh, Gregory Paul. Uh, I do like his work, and um, uh, he may be he may be accurate with it. But I just I, I would not agree with that. Okay, finally, Bill from Greenville, Illinois, is a female and male T. Rex and Allosaurus the same size? My favorite dinosaurs are Spinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, and Allosaurus. Well, Bill, first of all, I'm glad you like Allosaurus because that is my favorite, and I do think those other two dinosaurs are just as cool, Spinosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. Here's the deal about our male theropods, that is predatory dinosaurs, smaller than females. In my opinion, I don't think enough has been found for us to make that assessment. I don't think we've found enough theropods to be in a position to be making that assessment, especially with Tyrannosaurus rex and absolutely um, with some of the other ones like Spinosaurus and those that we just don't have enough to really understand. Um, if we had found hundreds of individual uh, Tyrannosaurus rexes and we do see a distinct difference between those that we think are female and those that we think are male, I think then we would be in a position to be able to make that uh, assessment. But I disagree with it only on the grounds that we have not found enough dinosaurs and more importantly, we, don't, we can't say with 100% certainty which one is a female and which one is a male. Um, when we look at the bird kingdom, it is the male bird that is often larger than the female. Now, the exception to that rule are the predatory dinosaurs. When we look at predatory, I mean, predatory birds, uh, when we look, that was a Tom Holt slip up. <laughs> when we look at predatory birds, in most cases, the female is larger. So paleontologists who think that uh, the females are larger than the males are probably basing it on that. Uh, maybe more so than they are on the skeletal remains. But until more are found, it's hard to say. All right, you guys, that's it for this time. I'm going to try to answer as many of these over this weekend as I can, so expect to see more. For you young people out there, you know the rules. Practice your reading because reading skills are very important. And for everybody out there, always practice good manners. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Make sure to visit my website, dinosaurgeorge.com. Click on the Ask Dinosaur George page, fill out the form, and send me your question. Keep in mind we get thousands of these every month, and I cannot answer them all, but I'll do my best. Until next time, everybody, take care of yourself and take care of the people around you, and I'll see you soon.